So one of the questions uh, that I often get asked is how much of it, someone's engagement and enthusiasm about their work is predicted by uh, an employee's personality uh, versus the kind of work environment that they're experiencing. Um, you know, a lot of engagement programs in big organizations these days uh, are all about the kind of environment that the organization has, its culture, its leadership style. Uh, and using those things uh, as influencers and drivers of uh, the kind of motivation and enthusiasm that the employees show. Um, but decades of social science has shown us that you know, people's attitudes and opinions uh, often say as much about them as individuals, their personalities, uh, as it does about the product or, exp or environment that they're evaluating. You know, for example, if you go on to uh, Amazon or TripAdvisor and read the uh, reviews that you see on there. Um, often, you know, on research has shown that the way that people review and evaluate things are, you know, as much a reflection of those individuals and their and their wants and needs as the product. So um, it's actually a question that some researchers have been exploring, and Henry Young and colleagues at Michigan State University uh, actually um, did a meta-analysis looking at more than a hundred individual samples, uh, uh, nearly 45,000 employees, um, to see you know, to what extent the employee personality predicts subsequent engagement at work. And what they found was that up to half of the variance, 50% of the variance in engagement is predicted by employee, pers employee personality, particularly um, being optimistic about your work, uh, particularly being conscientious and emotionally stable. Um, so that then leads us to a separate question or a second question, which is, um, so can we not just hire for engagement? Can we not just hire engageable people? So I would argue that while that's an interesting idea, it's actually not a viable or feasible one for a few important reasons. So the first is, is that actually um, the uh, it, it's still only 50% of someone's engagement that is driven by their personality. The remaining 50% is obviously the environment they experience. And you know, that's really what leaders have control over. Um, they can influence that and change it. And that represents the cultural value add that the organization has for its people to raise performance. The second is, is that actually, you know, if you look at those traits, you know, emotionally stable, optimistic people, you know, those who generally take a positive view on life, um, those folks are, you know, sure are good to have around, but they're usually pretty accepting of the status quo. They like how things are. And it's people who are a bit more critical, uh, who, you know, push back, who want to break things and remake them, who, l who see the problems in things, who are often your most innovative and uh, inventive, creative employees. And you need those for long-term innovation and performance. And last, it's actually a little bit unfair to be selecting people into your organization based on traits that you can't guarantee are predictive of their job performance. Uh, so sure, you know, being a stable optimist uh, might be great if, for example, you're in a customer service role or, or other relationship-based roles. Um, but not all jobs in the organization will be, uh, you know, uh, will find those things as related to performance. And so actually in some countries, if you can't make that link very clearly, uh, you, there will actually be some legal consequences. You know, you have to prove that these, the things that you're selecting for uh, are actually predictive of job performance. The last thing it leaves me thinking is that actually, um, you know, if a significant proportion of personality influences engagement, we can actually use engagement surveys and the, the way that people evaluate their work environment to help them learn about themselves. If your opinions about your work say as much about you as they do your company, uh, can we not think differently and use some of that data to help individuals learn about their own experiences at work, uh, giving them some feedback about you know, the kind of uh, attitudes that they hold about their company and helping them see how they can change and improve those attitudes in order to be uh, more aligned and to have a better experience, to reframe their experience at work.